Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I am here again with everyone's favorite time of the week, the picks for the following week in the NFL. And in this case, it will be the picks for the 17th and final week of the NFL season. So let's recap how I did last week. I actually went 10 and 6 last week for the second week in a row. So 20 and 14 over the last two weeks. And that brings me at 142 and 95 for a 599 winning percentage overall. I am this close to 600. Which means that if I do badly enough in the last week that I don't hit 600, I'll be like Maxwell Smart and I'll say, missed it by that much. So hopefully I go 10 and 6. I think 10 and 6 would definitely put me at 600. Um, 9 and 7 might. I'm not sure. I'm sure I could figure that out with a calculator, but I'm not going to do that right now. But anyway, so yes, here we are. We're on the precipice of 600, and I'm this close. And we are, sadly, we are talking about the last regular season games of the NFL season. Because after this, we will be doing the playoffs. And I will be doing my playoff previews as well and my picks, just like I have been doing for the regular season for every team. I will do those as well. But those will be in a completely different category. And I will not be adding to my running total here for the regular season because they're two completely different things. So, anyway, this week, um, Every game, I believe every game, is going to be on Sunday, and there will be no Monday Night Football. Could be wrong about that, but uh, I think that's the way I remember it going down. So let's get into the picks, shall we? The first game of the week is going to be the Packers against the Lions and I think um, any guy would that knows anything about football is going to say, yeah, take the Packers in this one. Do not take the Lions. The Lions are just a complete mess. And they're not going to beat the Packers. The next one is pretty much a no-brainer, too. You've got the Patriots against the Dolphins. And I'm going to go with the Patriots. Even though the Patriots have shown themselves to have some chinks in that armor, because they definitely do, you still got to take them. Um, even though, and you know, even though the Dolphins have shown a little bit of fight lately, um, they're still not going to beat the Patriots, and especially the game is in Foxborough. So, the next game we have, I think it's another no-brainer. A lot of these are divisional games. Um, you've got the uh, Bills and the Jets, and the Bills are at home. This is in Orchard Park. So, yeah, go with the Bills. The Jets are not beating the Bills in Orchard Park. Now, there is one issue with game, uh, with uh, Week 17 games, and that is that a lot of teams have wrapped up the position that they're going to be in and there's nothing to gain for them by, by winning the game. And, uh, and a lot of the teams that are out of it, like the Jets, have nothing really to play for. Um, one more loss isn't going to matter and so that's kind of an issue that you have to watch out for. But, you know, according to Chris Spielman, NFL football players go out every day to play at their their highest level, at their best, and give it their all, regardless of what their record is. So, hopefully we can rely on that. The next one is my Bears against 
the Minnesota Vikings. And I'm going with the Bears. The Bears. Uh, the Vikings are at home, but that doesn't really matter. The Vikings are not. I think the Vikings... I would say the Vikings are the worst playoff team, except they're not going to be if the Eagles or the Cowboys make the playoffs. And one of them will. So the Vikings aren't really the worst playoff team, but they're probably the second worst playoff team. Now, the next one we've got is the uh, Kansas City Chiefs and the LA Chargers. And for this end, the Chiefs are at home. Yeah, I don't think it really takes Einstein to figure out that it's going to be the Chiefs that win this game. And not the Chargers. The next one we've got is a game that really nobody wants to see, and that is the Browns against the Bengals. Um, and uh, this game is in Cincinnati, but I'm going to go with the Browns. Um, one thing you can plan on is that Baker Mayfield has such a big ego that the guy is going to play to win. And if he plays to win, they will beat the Bengals. The next one we've got, you know, now that I look at it, pretty much every one of these games is the divisional game. So anyway, the next one we've got is the Saints against the uh, Panthers. The Panthers are at home, but I'm saying take the Saints because take the Saints. Trust me on that one. So, yeah. The next one is the uh, Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons. And this one, the uh, Buccaneers are at home. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. You've got uh, Jamison Winston. Is That guy's racking up yards like it's going out of style. I think he has two or three 400-yard passing games this year. So that's pretty crazy. Now you got the Colts and the Jags, and in this one I'm going to go with the Colts, even though the Jaguars are at home. Still go with the Colts. It's not really... You know, I mean, I wouldn't put that down as a lock, but, you know, the Jaguars, no. Next one we got is the Eagles and the Giants. And uh, this particular game is in New York, but I'm still going to go with the Eagles. So, uh, mark that down, Gary B., the guy I've been jawing with on Facebook about the Eagles. Um, he's a little overzealous, uh, Philadelphia Eagles fan, but, you know, we all got our things. But, um, in this particular case, I have to say the Eagles should beat the Giants. Um, again, the Eagles and the Cowboys have played all year as if neither one of them really wants to win the NFC least, but... In this particular case, you got to believe that the uh, the Eagles have to take the bull by the horns. Now they're in the driver's seat, and they want to go into New York, beat up on the Giants, and go to the playoffs. On a winning note, however, as I said earlier, they would be the worst playoff team, and uh, and I stand by. Now the next one we've got is the uh, Cardinals and the Rams. The Rams are at home, but I'm going with the Cards. They were showing a little bit of fight last week, and I think uh, just a little bit more time, and uh, you know that team is going to be uh, that team's going to be decent. They'll probably be decent next year, you know, with. Uh, Kyler Murray, is that his name? Kyler Murray at the quarterback, and uh, they got some good young players. So I think next year they'll be decent. Maybe the year after that, a contender. So now the next one we got is the Ravens and the Steelers, and really in this one, you got to go with 
the Ravens in Baltimore over the Steelers. Uh, the Steelers, to be honest, they've been a mash unit for most of this season, but um, they've still, you know, risen to the occasion quite often to do a lot better than most people have expected with the with the players they've got, and I attribute that to Mike Tomlin. That guy is one heck of a coach, but he's not going to be able to uh, out coach Harbaugh and the. Uh, the uh, Ravens. Now, the only thing to look out for there is will the Ravens put in RG3 at quarterback because they don't think they have much to play for or anything to play for. I'm not sure if they could lose the number one seed in the AFC to the Patriots or to the Chiefs, but it's possible. I didn't uh, examine the standings that closely. Um, but if that's not possible, if they've got the number one seed, no matter what, throughout the playoffs, then um, you, then you would have to ask yourself, are they going to play RG3 at quarterback? Every player plays, and they play at their hardest, but if you're the coach and you're putting in the second stringers, the second stringers can play their hardest all they want, but, uh, um, you know. We'll see how that works out. But it may not even happen. May not even happen at all. Now the next game we got is the uh, Texans at home playing the Titans. I'm going with the Texans. They uh, they looked pretty good last week um, uh, in, a, in a winning effort over the uh, Buccaneers. They were uh, they were quite impressive. So, you know, and uh, they're probably one of the teams that wants to fight for a higher seed and try to um, get as, as many games at home in the playoffs as they can. But last week's win did put them in the playoffs, um, I believe, as the AFC South champion. So, um, yeah. And now we've got... The Broncos at home against the Raiders. I'm going with the Broncos in this one. Get the Raiders out of here. So, yeah, take the Broncos in that particular game. Now, here's, uh, here's one that's going to be interesting. It's the Redskins and the Cowboys. And this game is in Dallas. And I'm still going with the Redskins. That's right. Hail to the Redskins. Because that's the team I'm picking. Because Dallas is a mess. They had a chance to wrap up their sorry division last week. And they failed to do it against the team that they really... Sh the Philadelphia Eagles team that they should have beaten. So, you know what? I'm done with them. I'm done with them. They are not going to beat the Redskins, even at home. That's how sorry they are. That they won't even beat the Redskins. So, mark that one down. Because that's going to be one for the books. Now, the, the last game we have is the 49ers against the Seahawks. This game is in Seattle. But I'm going with the 49ers. If you remember in the last matchup between these two teams, the 49ers... Um, actually lost to the Seahawks and as a friend of mine once said it's very difficult to beat a division opponent twice in the same season and certainly three times if you face them in the playoffs so that's what I got and uh, how do you what do you guys think of the picks um, let me know what you think do you agree with me uh, leave a comment below Tell me what games you disagree with me on, or even just uh, list your picks that you got, or even um, give me a link to a video that you've got if you if you do your own videos for picks. I watch. There's a few other guys that I correspond with every week who also do their own videos for picks, and I watch their videos to see what their picks are, and you know we talk about it. 
So um, anyway, those are the picks. Uh, I want to, again, here's my contact information. You can contact me at Twitter, on Instagram, or via email. I do return, if you, e if you email me, I return the emails. No problem with that. And I want to remind everyone, subscribe to the channel if you like this stuff. And ring the bell so that you know when I got a new video out. I talk about all kinds of sports related stuff. I take requests. I do my NFL picks. I talk about the White Sox. I talk about the Islanders. I talk about hockey in general. I talk about baseball in general. I do a lot of uh, sports gaming with Stratomatic. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff to watch, a lot of interesting stuff that I think people that are interested in sports would love to watch. And so, hey, do that, subscribe, pass it on to people, you know, share it with people that you think would like the videos. And uh, that's all I got for right now, but it's Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.